Hi, this is Phil from Splunk. Today I want to show two new playbooks in the Phantom Community Playbooks Library. The first is called AWS Find Inactive Users, and the second is called AWS Disable Users. So the goal of the first playbook is to find IAM accounts, or AWS user accounts, that have the password last use older than 90 days, and just save a list of those so we can take further action in the second playbook. So let's dive into the playbook. It starts out with listing out all the accounts in IAM and calculating the time 90 days before today. Then it's going to filter that list of users, all, all the users, filter it down to just those that have the older password last use date. Next we're going to call get user on each of those, which is going to gather the groups and the policies and some other metadata. Finally, we're going to create an artifact for each user so that it's saved in the phantom event and we have something to use for further automation. So the benefit of this playbook is that we're going to find all the accounts that might be just hanging out with, with and not being used. Uh, we're going to try to enforce the principle of least privilege so that we don't have any unnecessary ways for someone to get access to our AWS environment and cause harm. So let's show how the playbook works if, when, you're, when you're using it. First step is, is deploying it and setting it on a timer which I've already done here. I have it set to go off at 1.30 p.m. every Thursday afternoon. And I put a little calendar invite for myself so that I can come in and review it at that time. So we can see that it's we've created a, an event here. When I dig into the event, you can see that the playbook has already run. First thing it did, like I said, was list through all the user accounts. Just basic information, when they were created, password last use date, for those that have an older password last use date, we're going to get user, list out the policy names and the group names. You can see here we have four accounts, Ian, Matt, and Sam. These are people I know on my team. This fourth account, Echnalart, I'm not really sure what this one's doing here, so this is a problem for me. So that's the end of the, of the first playbook. The output is just that list, really. And uh, the easiest way to see it is when you first come into the event, you have your artifact listing here. There's four AWS username artifacts. So let's dig into the second playbook. The second playbook is called AWS Disable User Accounts. And this plays directly off of the output of the first playbook. You come into an event where there's a list of AWS usernames and you take it from there to figure out which ones should be disabled and, and actually disable them. The first step is a filter that looks at a custom list which is called AWS Inactive User Allow List. If I jump over to that custom list uh, you can see there's just three names in there. These are three people that I know aren't using their account actively but I am keeping it open for them to come back in and use it because I know that they have a legitimate purpose to do so. Back in the playbook once I filter this out, I'm going to get just those users that are not on the allow list. For each of those, I'm going to send a prompt. It's actually going to be one prompt that, that lists all the users. And I'm just going to ask the analyst in charge, should those user accounts be disabled? Yes or no. After that, of course, we have a decision that's going to say if the user said yes. If we were proceeding from there, if they said yes, we're going to disable the user. And so that's just a simple action that we'll always delete the login profile to the AWS console and then we're also going to set disable access keys to true so if there are API keys out there for that user we're going to just deactivate those they'll still exist if they need to be re-enabled but they will not work for the time being so that's the playbook let's go back into how it's going to be used this is an event that came from the first of our playbooks in this series and this is the perfect place to launch the second playbook so under guidance, you're going to see that mission guidance is actually recommending that, that we run the next playbook. So I'm going to grab it here, confirm run. Doesn't do anything yet, but it sends me a prompt. It says, the following AWS users were found to be inactive. Eknalar. Okay, I don't recognize that name. Should those user accounts be disabled? I might do some more digging at this point, but I'm, I think right now I'm ready to say yes. I don't, I don't understand this user account. I'll disable it at least for the time being while I look into it. You can see I have 29 more minutes to fulfill this out, so I'm well under time. 
So I'm going to send that in, and coming back to the playbook, it's disabled the user. So you can see it, it did disable the access keys. That user can no longer log in on the console. Now might be a good time to figure out what actually happened. Where did this account come from? Was it being used by somebody? Um, but for now, it, we're in a safe state. We've disabled it. If we need to, we can always come back in. We can undo the action. Um, we can set a, a simple password. And I think we need a special character. Yep. And I can give that to whatever team needs it, uh, if appropriate. And they can come in and change it as soon as possible. But from here, we've we've identified user accounts that are dormant. We've gone and disabled them. Uh, we can we can undo that if needed. And we have two playbooks in the community to allow you to take this use case and, and use it as you see fit. So uh, the final thing I want to show is the playbook listing page. If you come in here and hit update from source control community and hit update, you should be able to see these two playbooks uh, with these names, AWS disable users and AWS find and active users.